Welcome to NI's Compact DAC Universal Analog Measurement Hardware Bundle Overview. If you're creating a validation system with multiple measurement types and want it to not take up a lot of room while also having reliable data and a simple setup, this bundle is the right one for you. We'll be covering the CDAC U4200 in this video. However, NI understands there may be different test needs as well as needing to be mindful about your engineering time and test budget. So we do offer other analog, voltage, and sensor measurement bundles. Review the technical resources for any comparisons. This bundle includes what you need for general purpose analog measurements for a broad mix of measurements, all in a compact area. It's great for small scale validation tests, troubleshooting systems in the field, or for adding a few sensors to an existing test bench. And it's so simple to configure right out of the box. So now let's talk more about this bundle. The CDAC U4200, it includes popular universal analog measurement hardware with expandability options so you can do more with one system with customization for current and future tests. You can, sim you can simplify system setup but with channel-to-channel -channel isolation and open contact circuitry to find severed wires. You can also directly connect a variety of bare wire sensors directly into the module, so no soldering or extra screws required. The entire bundle is very compact, so it won't take up much space, and you can port it from desk to desk or lab to lab. It's rated to withstand negative 20 to 55 degrees Celsius, 50 Gs of shock, and 5 Gs of vibe. So you can put it closer to harsher conditions your tests may have. But now let's talk about specifics. What you're going to get in the box itself, what extra things you might need, such as sensors and software, and I'll even show you it in action at the end. So the box components. The bundle includes eight pieces. We have our compact DAC chassis, a USB cable for the chassis, a power supply for the chassis, an important note, you will need to separately purchase the power cord based on your geographic region, a desktop mounting kit, two universal analog input modules, and back shell for the modules itself. For those unfamiliar with compact DAC chassis, it's a rugged, compact, and modular platform that can connect directly into your PC with slots for various C-series modules. You can add or even swap out modules depending on changing requirements, which then brings added flexibility to current and future test systems. In this specific bundle, we have the CDAC 9174, our four slot USB compact DAC chassis. It houses four modules, as you can see here. And with the chassis comes a USB A to B cable, and this is what connects the chassis to the laptop and a power supply cable to power the entire hardware. Both the power supply and USB cable have built-in screws so you can ensure a secure connection as you test. And as I'm sure you've noticed, this bundle comes with only two of the slots filled, which means you can expand your test capabilities with purchasing one or two more of the 80 plus C-series modules NI offers. You can customize your test system with specific measurement modules for sound and vibration, strain, voltage, temperature, and many more. The modules that are bundled with this specific bundle are NI's most popular and general purpose universal analog input modules, the NI9219. You can connect up to four sensors such as thermocouples, RTDs, strain gauges, load cells, and others per module. So you can have up to eight sensors connected at the very least. And regardless if you have eight sensors or one sensor, each channel in the module will dynamically stream data up to 100 kilosamples per second simultaneously. This module also has a 24-bit resolution so you can capture minute changes in data in software selectable ranges that can be up to plus or minus 60 volts for voltage and plus or minus 25 milliamps for current. View the data sheet for the module for all ranges and bridge configurations available. And lastly, the back shell can be used to put on the module for operator and strain relief protection. So now let's see this bundle in action. So let me get the sensor connected and I'll be right back. So now that we have all the NI hardware, I have connected a thermocouple and a solar cell with bare wire straight into two separate modules. You could have them in both, but I want you to see them in separate ones. And since that I'm in the US, I have the correct cable connected to the inbox power supply, and the chassis is now powered up, and the cable is connected straight into the laptop. 
But in order to interface with any of this hardware, I would need to download and install NI's free hardware driver, NI DECMX. This driver includes an extensive library of functions to use within various softwares to interface with NI's data acquisition hardware. To showcase the measurements, the software that I'll be using in is NI's no-code data logging software, FlexLogger. But you don't need to use this software if it doesn't work for your needs. For more advanced capabilities and controlling multiple test system, NI offers LabVIEW, which is our graphical programming environment. If you need both of these softwares, plus more such as web interfacing or generating automatic reports, NI offers a bundle of software called Test Workflow. It includes FlexLogger and LabVIEW, plus many other NI software. But if you want to code in your preferred language, such as Python, C, MATLAB, you can do so using the DACMX functions in the driver. But now let's see all the hardware bundle in action. So in this laptop, I have already installed the latest DACMX driver and FlexLogger. I've connected all the modules and the sensors together. And uh, FlexLogger has automatically detected both the hardware um, chassis as well as the modules that you see here. I've gone and configured both of the first channels, one for the thermocouple and one for the voltage. So you can already see that we have some lab live values available. But if we want to have a more visual representation, I've put two high-speed graphs on the screen. You can see that both of them have the ambient or room temperature as well as the voltage. And as soon as I cover the solar cell, you'll automatically see a dip in voltage. And if I touch the thermocouple, you'll see a spike in temperature. And since I left both of them, they're both going back to normal. But right now we're not logging any of the data. All I have to do is hit run. And you'll notice that we have a TDMS file that's logging the data. And because I've configured it so, as soon as it stops, we also get a .csv of all the data so we can use it for post data analysis. So go ahead and purchase your bundle today to get quality data for your test and flexibility for future projects and changing requirements. Click the link below to check out the bundle prices and if you'd like to compare it to any of the other measurement bundles. And lastly, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Feel confident in your test system by choosing an eye, and thank you for watching.